guys, Megan here from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous TV Patia. Today we are down here at the beautiful Hat Nang Lam Beach in Satahip. We are here with the Big Guy Charity and it's an amazing day here today. We're here with over 200 children from orphanages in Patia and they're having a children's fun day to raise funds for charity. The Big Guy Charity has been operating here in Thailand for around 15 years now, raising funds for the underprivileged, not only here in Patia, but all around Thailand. This is just a beautiful day out for the kids. So come on, let's join the Big Guy Charity Children's Fun Day here at Hat Nang Lam Beach. Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Gents, buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now. From 7 a.m. through till 11 at night, Coco Fitness, no excuses. An all-border bulletin was sent out yesterday to detain a South African man wanted in connection with the death of a 35-year-old Thai woman jeweler. She was discovered in a rented room in the capital. Hotel staff found her body wrapped in a sheet in the room when they went to remind her that it was time to depart her lodgings. CCTV reveals the man entering and leaving her room. As two major parties scramble to form what they both think will be a coalition government, so the usual claims of failings in the election are all over the newspapers. Suffice to say that the election appears to have been fairly held, but that doesn't satisfy some. It will be weeks before the election commissions formally announce who will head up the new parliament, but in all likelihood it will be Palang Pracharat, which received more votes than any other, and the current prime minister will remain in power. Official results will not be finalised until May the 9th. Air Asia advertising executives may not have understood the double meaning of the expression get off as they ran a campaign in Australia with the strap line Get Off in Thailand. That said, one group of complainers in Oz kicked off a stink, claiming that the way they read it, it was an invitation to fly to the land of smiles to meet easy women. The airline, which promoted a direct flight route, is organising an early withdrawal of the ad and has apologised. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, an Omani man remains in police custody following a fight in a bar in the city. A local Thai man was found beaten badly after an early morning dispute with Yomani, who, according to witnesses, was talking to his girlfriend. It seems that the girl knew the Yomani man. She left and the two went for each other. The Thai man later died in hospital. And fake news has given way to fake reviews in the city, hurting several well-known eateries at the high end of the scale. 
Hosts claimed that a local non-Thai restaurateur had used the power of the pen to create terrible reviews for his competitors on TripAdvisor. Those affected banded together to establish in their own minds beyond doubt exactly who was to blame. TripAdvisor reviews determine ranking, and one terrible review can see a restaurant dive some nine spots in the league, seeing others rise to replace them. It's likely that the faker will be outed, not here perhaps, and complaints have been sent, along with a body of evidence, to TripAdvisor for review. If TripAdvisor can't or won't take action, then in the words of at least one host, what's the point? Always Patia, our new website, has got some great deals for you again today. Meals at Dicey Riley's for under 200 baht, homemade specials around the lake for 225, pizzas under 200 baht, pasta specials at the Holiday Inn, and one amazing deal from KPK Foods. 300 grams of Australian grain-fed steak for only 159 baht each, and it's rump steak. How good are they? Well, we cooked two of them last night, and pretty much they're the best in the business. For those deals and more, visit alwayspatia.com for the latest news, radio, TV, events, and of course, unbeatable offers every day in the area. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 33, dropping down to 27, an overcast day with a good chance of rain. That is the local and national news from fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course, Patia, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Alastair Ross at BBC Sport and Cardiff City are to tell world football's governing body FIFA that the deal to buy Emiliano Sala from French club Nantes was not legally binding. The Premier League club are refusing to submit payments towards the transfer fee to Nantes for the striker who died in a plane crash in January. The BBC's Rob Phillips has the details. Cardiff claim a clause in the transfer agreement, which was submitted at the request of Nantes and involved the clubs being notified of completion of his registration by the relevant authorities in France and Wales, wasn't completed in time. So they insist under the terms of the contract the deal is null and void. There was also a problem with his signing on fee which contravened Premier League regulations. Nantes say the paperwork was complete. FIFA are arbitrating in the dispute and want all the evidence by April the 3rd. Chelsea's Ross Barkley has condemned racist chanting that was heard during England's 5-1 win over Montenegro in Euro 2020 qualifying. Raheem Sterling reacted angrily to the crowd after scoring the fifth goal and monkey chants appeared to be directed towards another black England player, Danny Rose, towards the end of the match. It's not acceptable, this behaviour, and, you know, I'm sure it'll get dealt with, but, you know, it's, as I said, it's disappointing, you know, for some of the players. You know, it shouldn't be happening today, and, you know, it's, you'd, you would have thought that we'd moved past that, but, you know, I'm sure the FA and, you know, UEFA will deal with this matter. And brain injury charity Headway wants UEFA to investigate why Newcastle United's Fabian Schaar was allowed to carry on playing for Switzerland after being knocked unconscious in a Euro 2020 qualifier. The charity says concussion protocols were not followed. And for more football from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Fabulous 103 FM with crew fun at Thai time. Good morning. Sabadika. How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn? Have fun on your trip. You are going to a trip and I'm wishing you have fun. Fun or a safe journey? Um, fun. Okay. That means uh, buy tea is go away. Right. Go out. Yeah, go so, out. Go out. Hai Sanuk, na? Hai Sanuk. Hai Sanuk, yes. Ko Hai Tiao, Hai Sanuk. Yes. Have fun on your trip. Yes. Ko Hai Tiao, Ko Hai Tiao. Tiao, yes. Tiao. Ko Hai Tiao, Hai Sanuk. Yes, very good. Mm. Okay. 
Isn't it time that you escaped to the island of Koh Chang and relax at a brand new resort that promises luxury along with the best of island life? The Elysian Pearl is a family-owned resort offering excellent and affordable accommodation with sea views and easy access to the ferry, but not in a crowded tourist area. Jungle, hillsides and waterfalls, elephants and more, all within easy reach. We can arrange transport from the ferry or you can drive to us and park. Google Elysian Pearl Ko Chang for details. Elysian Pearl Resort, Ko Chang's newest, brightest secret, is out now. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I'm bringing you about a 30 minute drive out of Pattaya City to a beautiful, pristine beach. Today we are here to check out the Saigao Beach. It's at the Satahip Navy Beach. It is a really, really beautiful beach, very well taken care of, and there's lots to see and do here. So come on, let's check it out. Saigao Beach, also known as Had Saigao, is one of the most popular beaches in Satahib. It's the closest navy beach to Pattaya City, located in the Chumpon Satahib Naval School. Upon arriving at the navy base, you'll need to pay a small entrance fee of only 100 baht for adults and 50 baht for children. You're free to sit wherever you fancy. There's no umbrellas and only large trees to shade from the sun, giving a more natural feeling to the beach. It's the perfect place to visit, to sit back and relax, with clean white sands and crystal blue sea, giving you a real tropical island atmosphere. The beach is about one kilometre long and is lined with restaurants, a coffee shop and a massage parlour. There's also free toilets and showers. Deck chairs are available for rent for only 30 baht a day and mats only 20 baht. You can also rent a rubber ring for 10 baht an hour. There are lots of activities to enjoy during your visit, such as kayaking, banana boat rides and snorkeling. On some days, you can also take a trip out to the famous Monkey Island or explore the corals from the glass-bottomed boat. Whatever you decide to do, Saigao Beach is certainly the perfect beach getaway destination. A pristine white sand beach only minutes away from the hustle and bustle of Pattaya City. Let the waves hit your feet and the sand be your seat. Coming up next, Patia Mail, taking you on a road trip.
are today at the world famous Pattaya floating market and today I'm going to show you around. I've not been here for about six years so um, I'm going to see what's changed and if it's gone any better. Hi hey, love, can I have a ticket please? Ticket? For one person. 200 baht? Yeah. Yep, yeah. good one. Okay then I've got my tickets and we're going through here now. Morning. Morning. Thank you sir. Okay. Salute, that's it. Okay, Captain. Thank you. Right, we're in. Who's this bird here? Alright, love. Right, here's the lads getting ready now in the boats. Ready to sail you around. You can get on one of them boats and sail around the uh, floating market if you want. Oh yeah, look at him here. Hey, he's good, isn't he? I'll come back and see him in a bit. This lady here is doing kebabs on the hot coals there. They'll sail around later. And then got the big stew going there, look at that, with all them mushrooms in and lemongrass. Beautiful, aloe. Wow, look at that. Look at them, what are them giant snails? There you go. But then we got uh, somebody doing things with eggs in that here. Oh, a different variety of them like macaroon things. Wow. So you get lots of food here. Pancakes, drinks. Oh, look at it. Pig's noses. And pig's trotters. And chicken's feet. So we're having a good day already, aren't we? It's looking great, this. And then people are just coming over the bridges. What it is, it's like loads of shops and it's all like floating on the water, right? And then there's bridges over to different shops and things. And then look at this here, you've got all these umbrellas here, right? And then look at the shadow they're casting on the water. How good's that? I've never seen that one before. What's she on about her? Anyway, right, let's carry on. <laughs> And here we've got the fried squid and a nice little invention there. Just some like little plastic bags flying around, keep the flies off. Good, eh? Good one. It's gone a bit bigger than last time I was here. Um, and I believe there's a magic show here now and a monkey show. But uh, I don't know where that is yet because obviously your guess is as good as mine. Um, we'll just keep looking and exploring. Part two of this episode of Patty and Mail tomorrow, right here on Fabulous Patia TV. You look very nice anyway. What are you doing tonight? You get your food off your boats and then you can just sit here on the floor. Can you see me? Can you see me now? Yeah. You okay? Oh no. <laughs> You're not okay? Of course you are. Keep smiling. Yeah. Hey, sorrow, won't you be my wife? Good morning, Megan. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Ready to play? Yes. Dennis? Yes, I'm fine. Good morning. I'm fine. Ready to go, yes. Sorry, Meggie. Sorry. Meggie, yes. <sighs> Not Megan. Meggie. <laughs> right. Um, who's going to have the first buzzer? Laggy's first. Okay. Megan. Megan. Uh, Meggie. <laughs> Meggie. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. You forget it. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I, feel like I, think, I think I'll let his password. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Yes. Eyes down looking, let's go. Let's play Monday's Universally Challenged. Da -da 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 -da. This is easy. Dead easy. Megan's memories after a night out. Oh, I'm... Megan. Oh, I haven't even finished the clue yet. Really? Go on. Blur? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, yes! That's phenomenal. I'm going to get whitewashed again, and I, by the look of it. I am. I'm going to get stitched You're playing up. the wrong song. I uh, know, I haven't played <laughs> it yet. That was fast. Well, hey, what was the rest of the clue, just out of interest? Matter, it was Megan's memories after a night out unclear. Um, oh, yeah, blur. Yeah, blur. That was so, fast. Uh, <laughs> very, very fast. Well yeah. done. 1-0, uh, Megan's up. 
Yeah. yeah. Went up and running for the week. I've got appointments at 11 o'clock for the rest of the week. <laughs> 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 it could be a white uh, It then. will be, yeah. If she's playing like that, Ooh. I've got no chance. I didn't, you did, he didn't even finish the clue. And I you know, got it. That was but phenomenal. it was about me, you know. Yeah, I know. It's either, <laughs> My memory's after a night Something to do with being drunk or <laughs> something. To, no, I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we could have another forfeit. You could be in a mankini again next week. Yeah. Yeah, he won't wear that. I did. I put full yeah, makeup wore, on and a wig. Yeah, but he wore it on top of his clothes. Well, Tommy said I should. Really. So I did a poll on Friday. Yeah. Should Brooksy wear the mankini? Well, yeah, and no last votes. time I checked, no there votes. was. There wasn't. Yes, there was. There was no votes. I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. That's not happening. What do you mean, good? <laughs> no, very good that he deleted it. Why? <laughs> I wouldn't want to see him in a mankini. <laughs> There's millions of people that would, Dennis. <laughs> really? <is>. really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well done, then, Megan. One Thank nil up. You. University of well, hey. Here's Blair, Charmless Man, on Fabulous 103. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Earth Hour Evening at the Salarim Nam Restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the lotus ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. The Garden Cafe at Avani Patia Resort and Spa promises that you can fill your boots with a feast for all the family at the cafe, enjoying a sizzling international and barbecue seafood buffet. That's going to be brimming with delicious dishes and fresh seafood. Takes place daily from 6 until 10 and is priced at only 850 baht per person. You can find the Garden Cafe inside the grounds of the Avani Patia Resort and Spa and that's a great way to escape Songkran for a few hours. Every Tuesday night is Mediterranean night at the Bang Saray Beach Club. Feast on a Mediterranean buffet consisting of delicious pizza, pasta, salads, appetizers and more, priced at only 300 baht per person. And all that while you enjoy live music throughout the evening, overlooking the beautiful beachfront views of Bangsaray Bay. That starts from 6 o'clock onwards every Tuesday evening. A great brand new offer at the Hotel Barracuda on Patia's Second Road. Sit back, relax and take in the panoramic views over the city from the Rooftop Sunset Lounge, where their gin and jazz night every Friday and Saturday from 7 offers two hours of free flow imported gin, cheese and cold cuts while listening to live jazz. Make your Saturday night special and fill your boots at the Sala Rim Nam at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. There you can enjoy a Saturday night buffet with a wide selection of cuisines from different buffet stations. Tickle your taste buds with an array of regional Thai favourite dishes and desserts while enjoying live entertainment throughout the evening with traditional Thai dancing and live music. Every Saturday evening from 6 until 10, the price is only 599 baht plus plus per person and children under the age of 5 can eat free. That's at the Sala Rim Nam at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on 2nd Road. A Sunday isn't a Sunday without a proper Sunday roast and one that we recommend having tried it is the Sunday Carvery at Dicey Riley's Pub and Restaurant which is on 2nd Road right next door to the Avani Hotel. A traditional roast with all the trimmings priced at only 4 49 and that includes a free drink too. The Café G at the Holiday Inn in Patia offers a breakfast buffet from 5.30 in the morning all the way through till 10.30. It's an international breakfast buffet every single day of the week with an array of Thai and international dishes along with live cooking stations and of course fresh coffee priced at only 550 baht on weekends and even less during the week, 299 baht. Every Thursday is curry night at the Bangsaray Beach Club. 
which of course is in Bangsaray. Enjoy a different curry every week, paired with naan bread, poppadoms and onion bhajis. The price is only 250 baht a set. Tasty Indian food while you sit overlooking Bangsaray Bay. That's every Thursday evening and starts at 6 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Pattaya's Beach Road. <laughs>